Today is Wednesday and I've been working on my project this week for school. It's pretty much a three and a half day project or test that we have to do and it's a user interface website that we have to work on and we're almost building it from scratch except we're provided with the content so that's been taking up a lot of my time and uh, I find that it's helpful to kind of just take breaks during the day so what I'll do is I'll actually walk into the city and I'll get some lunch or a coffee or an ice cream or a smoothie something like that and then get back at work and it's uh, great here because the weather is not too cold or too hot so it's very easy to be comfortable while you're working and right now I'm planning to head to a cafe it's called Viejo Zach one. It's the one I've shown you guys before and it's kind of one of my favorite places because it's pretty quiet and I can focus pretty well. Whereas Starbucks, um, it's a little bit louder there but you don't have to really buy anything, you know, going in. And it's not like I can't, it's, I just feel like sometimes I just want to go sit outside somewhere that has high speed internet so I end up there most of the time but I'll switch it up every now and then going to places like Ozak one and I've been doing pretty well um, I'm getting ready to head back here next Saturday to uh, the States so I'm definitely gonna miss this place um, I've definitely enjoyed all the food the Sun the different sites here and I don't have any plans right now for the weekend, um, this coming weekend. I met a couple friends and everything, so maybe we'll end up doing something this weekend together. Um, <clears throat> last night I actually went to Applebee's. I had some boneless buffalo wings and I was surrounded by seven natives. And they spoke like the wind <laughs> like it's not that I can't hear everything it's at this point it's like I hear them but I just don't understand uh, the words that they're saying like I, I'll hear the the words coming out now it's no longer just gibberish it's actually like oh there's stuff in there that makes sense so <clears throat> I'll catch most of the gist of the conversation. I'll try to intervene here and there, but I'm still not native level yet. And I think I just need more practice. So that was kind of interesting last night. Um, and just been talking to a lot of friends online, uh, practicing Spanish with language transfer. It's a free course if you guys haven't checked it out. And it's how I've been learning my grammar. And I think it's been helping a lot because I'll pick up a lot of things here and there which I didn't know before. Like the other day I just thought of the word lo siento. So I think this is what it means but siento means like I feel and lo is like it. So when you're saying I'm sorry which is what lo siento is for, you're almost saying like oh I feel it. And I love these little nuances that they have in Spanish. There are definitely others that I learned but um, hopefully I understood that correctly but that's a nice nuance that I picked up and I'm gonna quit talking now <laughs> I can probably talk more and more but uh, I'm just gonna enjoy this nice day this peaceful walk it's nice outside today right after it rained it's not hot at all this is not anything like Guadalajara or Texas <laughs> But I hope you guys have a great day as well. And I will talk to you uh, a little bit later today. All right, I'm, getting head I'm heading back to my place. And uh, there's gonna be kind of a dinner party at the Airbnb house I'm staying at. They take turns cooking every week, so I think there's nine or ten people, and they rotate. So this week they're cooking something, I'm not sure, and I went and just 
pick up some beer. So I stopped by Noxo and I got 12 bottles for about 180 pesos, which is like nine bucks. So you can really get in trouble here. <laughs> a beer is like a dollar something, right? So uh, yeah, I'm lugging it home now. It's pretty heavy, <laughs> but it should be a good night. And I, I like uh, this beer, especially Dos Equis. Uh, I don't like Indigo too much though, or Indio, sorry. That's the other beer that's made from Monterrey. <laughs> night was a dinner party and there were about seven or eight uh, native uh, Mexicans there and most of them spoke Spanish there was three that can speak uh, English so it was a pretty fun evening we just uh, drank some beer and we had some tostadas with meat and uh, vegetables but it was a really good time and um, yeah Hi everybody, I'm here at a new cafe that I just found. It's called the Serapiso and it's like a co-working space where you can just hang out, work, drink coffee and tea and uh, have unlimited internet. It was pretty cheap to get in, it was only 25 pesos. So you can just drink as much as you want. And then if you want to actually come back, leave and go as you please, it's 50 pesos. So it's really cool. Um, I really like this space. I'm sitting on the rooftop here as you can see. And so you can just uh, work up here. There's a nice breeze that comes through and it doesn't feel like you're trapped inside so much. And that's something I really prefer. And uh, it's a beautiful view up here. It's uh, overlooking uh, the Teatro Principal. And then I can also see Papilla from right here as well, the monument up there. And this is the view pretty much from from here. Yeah, and I gotta say, there's not many people here. When I came here this morning, there was probably one or two people. And uh, it's just really nice here. And the speed is incredible. Um, 73 down and then like 40 or 50 up which is like the best I've seen so far here in Mexico um, of course you can always upgrade your connection and make it fast but this place is definitely has the fastest of what I've seen so far um, I will definitely be coming back here um, they open from like 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. so literally you can hang out here all day if you really wanted to get work done be super productive and um, I really love this place so I'll share more with you guys later I'm just uh, getting started on some material for Monday um, I have class and it's a new topic so I'm brushing up on it and my theory is that the more that you see something the more that you practice something the better that you get so that's kind of what I'm doing it and I've seen this topic before it's called react it's a JavaScript framework that is used to build a lot of applications and um, websites so I'm really excited to get it started because I haven't touched it in a while I've been using mostly Gatsby JS but that's not important to you guys <laughs> and uh, I just wanted to share this view with you guys and this space with you if it's one thing in Guanajuato you gotta always pay attention to the weather because it can come and go because we're so deep in the valley you can't see that far away so it kind of just hits you like within uh, maybe half an hour, an hour. So I uh, just saw the rain start coming here. It's drizzling a little bit. So I just moved my stuff inside. And uh, most people will move their stuff inside here too. Uh, there's more folks that came by, so it's cool. Uh, maybe I'll meet some new friends. If not, uh, I got a lot of work done today. Just got some prep work done for Monday and uh, editing some videos for the past uh, week of in Lambda School. And then, uh, yeah, so just gonna do some more Spanish lessons here and then I'll see what happens later. I don't really have any plans right now, especially if it's raining like this. Maybe just hang out here until it closes. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs>